Hello, this is Ben with Joyce Game Electronics giving you guys another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to replace a SMR, Samsung SMR 945, 940 screen. They're both compatible and I believe the 935 is also compatible. These are Sapphire LTE screens, so they're a little harder to break, but as you can see, somebody, somebody actually broke it, so it looks pretty bad as well. Does it, the unit does not turn on. All the parts and all the tools that you see in this video, like this, all these screwdrivers and stuff, the pry tools will be linked down below. And yeah, let's get started with this repair. And we're gonna heat up the unit just a little. Just so the adhesive kind of loosens up. We're gonna start by unscrewing these four screws and just put them aside, just like that. All right, after you take those four screws out, we're gonna apply some more heat just around the edges of the back cover, just like this. Just so the adhesive really gets loose and it'll easily come off. You'll also need just like a little alcohol, 70% alcohol. Oh, hey Joe, what are you doing in there? Trying to fix my headphones to save some money. That sure is a strange way to save money. Why don't you try switching to our channel partner, Mint Mobile, instead? They have the largest 5G network in the nation. Is that the Breathlands company? No, I mean, it's not minty fresh like that, but they can save you a bunch of money. Their plans start at just $15 a month. How much do you pay? $80. Dude, that's insane. It only takes like 15 minutes to switch over. You could save so much money. You could get yourself a new office. You could fix your headphones up right. Sounds good. I'm going to switch right now. You should switch too. Check out the link in our description. All right. Well, check it out, Joe. Have a good one. Just heat it up just for about maybe 20 to 30 seconds. My heat gun's placed at 180. There we go. Next, we're going to grab our pry tool apply a little bit of alcohol and then we're going to start where the power button inside is it's kind of pointed down just like that just so we don't mess up the seal and just lift it up and it should just come off real easy just like that and there's a connection right there so next we're going to grab a swudger and then just disconnect it just like that and there we have it back over is now off next what we're going to do is just disconnect the actual screen from the motherboard. So just go under just like this and kind of lift it up just like that. There we have it. We have the screen now disconnected from the motherboard. Then we're gonna grab ourselves a flathead. This one's a 1.5 flathead. We're just gonna start by, I usually pry firm here, kind of on the motherboard right here. Just kind of super slowly, be very careful and gentle. And it should literally just come out just like that. You could also use the spudger. I would recommend using the spudger because it's a lot safer. You're not gonna damage anything, but I'm using a flathead for this one. So there we have it. The screen is now off. The bad screen, as you can see the damage. All right, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our brand new screen. As you can see, it's brand new, grade A. We're gonna grab the motherboard and place it this way. You see, that's where the ribbon, this ribbon connects to right here. So we're just gonna just kind of angle it correctly. Just place it in there. Should just fit perfectly. And then we're just gonna reconnect the screen to the motherboard. Just like that. There we have it, it's connected now. Make sure the buttons work and everything. The, the unit's probably all the way dead. So it's not turning on unit is dead then what we're gonna do is reconnect the back cover back onto the motherboard so as you can see there's the ribbon it needs to be connected this way and the other way you can tell is this is the speaker right here it goes right here so you just kind of place it like this and you could also test fit it quickly just to make sure which way it goes in so it goes in this way so let's quickly connect that and continue with the repair There we have it. The unit is now on, as you heard. It just kind of clicked in. And just make sure all the buttons sound like they're working. We need a charger and I'll get that in a minute. Next, what we're gonna grab is our 0.6 Y screwdriver. 
then we're just gonna grab the screws and we're gonna go in a zigzag pattern so i'll show you guys right now put the first screw in it doesn't matter where you put the first screw in just gonna hand tighten it grab your next screw kind of align it and go this way you could also go just a little more than hand tights and there we have it the unit is now all done brand new screen this is a really really quick repair so uh, and it's not really hard at all you just need the proper tools and all the proper tools are used in this video right here you just need some type of heat just so you could heat up the seal so it comes off easier because you do not want to damage the seal in the back or else it will leak through and it will get some corrosion inside so yeah all the tools that you saw in this video all the parts that you see in this video will be linked down below and thank you guys for watching this video if you guys want some other type of repair uh shown in the uh in our youtube channel just please let us know in the comments down below make sure to like and subscribe guys and peace out thanks for watching the video guys if you guys love what we do please support us you guys can click on the links that we have on the end screen you guys can buy our parts sales or service so we can continue to make great videos for you guys for many more years thank you